Suppose we know that the word the appears two in two thirds of all the sentences in this book. Say we know that. Don't ask me how we know that. Say we do. Therefore, we can say P, the probability is two out of three or two thirds or point six six seven. All right. Now, as I was saying, and the previous problem I had on the board here was we were going to randomly uh, select six pages. So N, my number of trials, is six. As soon as I establish that I have six trials, I can immediately create my probability distribution table where X is going to count the number of successes, that is, the number of pages on which we do find the word the in the third complete sentence. It's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On how many pages out of six do we find the word the in the third complete sentence? What I want to show you is exactly, as soon as we've determined that we have a fixed number of trials, and as soon as we, as soon as we know the probability of success, which is two out of every three, as soon as we know that, we have enough information to complete the probability side, the probability column, a column of this distribution. And I just want to do a couple of those. In order to fill these out, to find the probabilities of each of these x values, we use the binomial formula. The binomial formula says, and I'm sure it's probably the ugliest formula you've ever seen in any mathematics class, it says the probability of getting an x in a binomial distribution situation to getting having this many successes is equal to the following. And it starts with a fraction. The fraction has a numerator of the factorial of n, the number of trials, divided by the factorial of x, the number of successes, times the number of failures. The number of failures is simply those trials out of n that weren't successful. Isn't that just n minus x? If this is the number of successes, then n minus x is the number of failures, and so we want the factorial of that. Now, that's the fraction part. The rest of it says, okay, we're going to multiply this times my probability of success, p, but p is going to be raised to a power. The power of the raise of 2 is to the x power, the power of the number of successes. Then we also multiply at times the probability of, probability of failure, and you may or may know, not know what symbol we use for the probability of failure, but if P is success, then we use Q for, failure, for, for failure. Well, there are two possible outcomes. If the probability of success is two-thirds, then the probability of failure must be one-third. In this case, the list of probability of Q then must be one-third, which is approximately point three, three, three. Okay? Now, this is probability of success raised to the number of successes. Q is the probability of failure. We're going to raise it to the number of failures, which is n minus x. All right? Ugly formula. But it's really not too bad if you know two things. Number one, you know how to enter powers on your calculator. And number two, if you recognize this fraction as being a special built-in function on your calculator. You may not recognize, let me tell you what this is. This whole thing is just NCR, calculating the number of combinations. NCR, where in NCR, N is N, and obviously we don't have an R in this formula, R is simply X, the number of success that we're interested in. So if we really want to write this, it's really just NCX. Think of it that way. This whole fraction is. So let's just do a couple of these. Let's do, um, I'm going to do two of these, maybe three of these, and you really should practice filling out the rest of them. Let's, let's calculate the probability that two pages, on the third sentence, there's the, the word the, and let's do, let's do five. Now, yeah, let's do five. Let's do both of these, all right? I want the probability that we have two successes. So I want the probability of two. Well, that's going to be equal to 
NCX, which is N is 6, NCR, and X is 2. So that's exactly what we're in on the calculator. Multiply times the probability of success, which as a decimal we're going to write as 0.667 raised to the probability, uh, raised to the power, I'm sorry, of the number of success that we're interested in, which is 2, times the probability of failure, which is, which is 0.333, and that's going to be raised to the power of the number of failures. Well, if I have two successes out of six, how many failures do I have? Look at all the rest of them. There must be four. I mean, these two numbers have to add up to six. Right? You either got failures or successes, and there's nothing else. They have to add up to six. Okay, putting this in the calculator, let me try that. Uh, you, I probably can't read this at all, but I'm going to enter the six. I'm going to hit the PRV key, shift it over to the NCR function, then enter a two, say times 0.667 raised to the second power times 0.333 raised, that's the caret mark, to, to enter an exponent, raised to the fourth power equals, tells me it is 0 0.082. And that's only two significant digits. The next digits are 0, 5. And so if I've got to have three significant digits, I've got to take care of it here. And 5 says to round it up. So with three significant digits, that'd be 0, 8, 2, 1. Please understand, sometimes your homework asks for just three decimal places, not three significant digits. I ask for three significant digits. Okay? Let's do one more. Let's do the probability that we randomly pick six pages, and five of those six pages on the third sentence, there's the word the in it. Okay, so if I'm interested, let me get down here. If I'm interested in the probability of having five successes out of six, wait, 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 let me put this in there. This is point zero eight two one. There's a probability for two successes. Okay, so back here again. Once again, this is going to be six NCR five five successes times the probability of six point six six seven raised to the fifth power because there's five successes times the probability of failure, 0 .0, uh, 0 0.333 raised to, well, how many failures we got? We're saying only one page didn't have a the in the sentence that we're looking at. There we go. So let me go ahead and see what the calculator says about this. 6 NPR, uh, move it over to NCR, enter 5 times 0 0.667 raised to the fifth power times 0.333 raised to the first power, or just 0.333 really, equals 0.2637695 goes on and on and on. I only need three significant digits. The seven says round this last one up to four. So that's 0.264. So I can put into the probability 0.264. I strongly recommend that you look at this a number of times so you understand what we're doing here and then attempt to fill these out. Now, the way you know or whether or not you've done all the rest four of these correctly is that the sum of all these probabilities must be either exactly 1.000 or pretty doggone close to it. Okay? So practice that. See if you can do it. Practice over and over again using the binomial formula. It's not nearly as bad as it looks, especially with a calculator.